Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2012 family comedy cartoon called Delhi Safari. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. The film starts with Yuvraj saying that he lost his father, Sultan in the morning, but doesn't want to lose his home at any cost. The film carries a flashback of the morning with Yuvi and Sultan playing in the forest and Sultan teaching self-defense to Yuvi while his mother, Begum, enters. The two mock her for her overly caring attitude towards son that gets her angry, and she leaves. Soon, Begum forgives Sultan and Yuvraj. However, while coming back, a whole pack of bulldozers come from nowhere and proceed to demolish the surrounding jungle. Begum manages to escape, but Yuvi and Sultan are trapped. The two land at a site in the forest where they see all the trees missing. In a bid to save Yuvi, Sultan catches Yuvi in his mouth and tosses him to Begum. However, he himself is killed by a human wielding a shotgun, making the whole forest a large enemy of the humans. A talk happens with attendants of all the animals in the area. Many believe that leaving their homes is the only way to survive, however, Badranji, a monkey, says that he would beat out the wits of those men with his so-called Venarsina, Marila and Barila, but Baga the bear advises him to talk to humans and Badranji asks whether there is anyone who knows the language of humans. A white bird, seemingly a pigeon, Hawa Hawaii pipes up, saying he knows someone who knows both animal and human languages. Yuvi meets the white bird the next day, and asks who is the one he said about. The white bird says the animal he spoke of is Alex, a parrot who lives with a director, Bikram Kosla. But Dranji, his army of two monkeys, Hawa Hawaii, Baga, and Yuvi, go and kidnap the parrot and convince him to go to Delhi with them to talk to the parliament and save their land. Initially refusing, Alex agrees to go to Delhi. Begum, Baga, Badranji, and his army board a train to Delhi from Mumbai. Yuvi joins them after some time. They then reach Gujarat with guidance from Raju, a bat. In Gujarat, they meet flamingos and a couple who gives them shelter in their homes. One of the flamingos strictly advises them not to cross the banyan tree to avoid the wolf Kalia and his gang. However, Badranji goes there and ties Alex for Kalia to kill him so that no one can doubt him. Yuvi spots Badranji and confronts him but they are spotted by Kalia. Begum arrives in time to save them. After this incident, Alex pretends to have lost his voice. The animals consult a doctor who prescribes some Ayurvedic medicines to recover Alex's voice, claiming that he has hypertension, stress, and high blood pressure. Badranji wholeheartedly does the hard work, sometimes getting injured. One day, he discovers that Alex was just pretending and chases him, inadvertently hitting a beehive. All the animals run with bees chasing them. A thrilling experience of trains follows after Badranji tells Alex how guilty he feels of thinking to kill him. Alex also realizes how selfish he was and decides to help he animals. Begum tells that no one is going to Delhi after listening to a tiger's story of how he only survived death at a human's hands by being a coward and forsaking his old ways. Thankfully, following a pep talk and seeing Sultan's spirit in Yuvi who inspires them, Begum changes her mind and with renewed hope, proceeds to Delhi. They finally reach Delhi and tell their message through Alex to the Prime Minister of the country that they want peace between humans and animals, and how Yuvi inspired all of them to go to Delhi despite all the incidents. In the last scene, it is shown the jungle is saved courtesy of a shared land act, with the area being called the Sanjay Gandhi National Park Borivali, and all are happy and settled. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.